I'm out here looking crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm having a rough month. Do y'all want to talk to me? Do y'all want to find out what I'm going through? Do y'all even care? If y'all do, y'all stay tuned. Well, I want to say thank y'all for holding on and thank y'all for being um thank y'all for being here with me through this journey that i've been on with youtube no i'm not giving up on youtube i did take a break i did and i needed that i needed a break i needed a break from life i needed a break from jobs relationships issues at home with the dog like everything Thudy is not doing good y'all y'all know Thudy is i'm gonna pop up on the screen my baby ain't doing good. Um, I took him to the vet and he got heartworms. It cost eighteen hundred dollars. Did y'all what I said? Eighteen hundred dollars to fix his problem, and they're worried about swabbing his ears. I said I don't care about his ears. I care about the worms, the heartworms, because heartworms is like cancer for dogs. They go through one, two, three, four stages of it. And right now, I don't think he's at a stage where it's like right right away. But anything can happen rapidly. We know everything happens for a reason. Maybe I caught it right at that time. Or maybe he been had him for a while. I don't know. Because the only reason why I had to take Duty to a vet. Because I had to put him on my apartment. For he could be in my apartment with me. And I didn't have to go through no drama with that. Luckily, I did when I when I took him. He got all his shots that he needed and all that. And then I that wanted I wanted them to run that test for the heartworms, and that's what he had. And he got all his other shots ready too. And he had something going on with his ear. But like right now, I can't focus on his ears. I have to focus on getting this eighteen hundred dollars quickly, and before I can take care of that. So that's my main goal. So I was like, let me start posting again because Thudy is like family. I did. Um, I got that. I got Thudy when I was in Texas. Like, and that's my baby ever since. He done had Parvo. He done fall through that, and the sun is out. It's beaming on me. I see that sun. And so he done had Parvo before. So it's just like he 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 got cured from that. So now he's going through something else, and I don't want that to. Put, bring me more down than what I'm already down. I'm down because I made some decisions in my life that it's like it's hard for me to learn from it. I don't know if I'm stubborn, and I, I stupid, retarded. I don't dumb. I don't really know. But it's like that's why I didn't want to date again. I was in much shit for eight years with somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'll be happy for you when you find another. We ain't good, good, but we still good. And I wish them the best at all times. If he ever see this video or whatever, I wish him the best. I wish any of my past relationships, I don't ever had the best, okay? I don't wish no harm on nobody because for what? Where it's over for a reason. So I knew that started to dating again, it was going to have my head looking like this when I date. You see my hair? I'm stressed out um they didn't like a, a few people it's okay dating is like you get out y'all meet people it's like a whole process what's your favorite color what's your goals what is this what is that is it blue is it gold like it's just a lot of stuff going on it's like starting all over again but then you do all of that y'all start talking and here come the dang i should have said goals i should have said goals when i was talking to this man i should have told him what i'm gonna allow and what i'm not gonna allow like i didn't think about all that stuff because at the time when you're dating you're dating get to know somebody you're having fun and i never when i date somebody or relationship with anybody i don't want to take their freedom away we're not married that's me freedom is like oh what's your code in your phone oh you can't talk to this female oh you can't do this oh you can't do that you that ain't me that ain't me you can live your life but be honest and and be and have good communication if you don't have good communication i'm gonna start assuming i'm gonna start building a whole case against you because i know that there's something going on that i just can't figure out but you don't communicate and like i said it's going to be on me it takes two to have a case not just one like i don't
don't get. I don't get it. I will never understand. It makes me want to be single for the rest of my life. I don't have to love. Because I was in I, I was in love for eight years. But then I grew out of love with someone. So it's hard for me to say I love someone again. It's like I have to be taught that again. How do you love somebody? How, how, how? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Y'all can comment down below and let me know because it's like a, it's like a, this like a baby. I'm a baby again, taking baby steps because it's hard for me to say that I love somebody. I done been hurt, so everybody done been hurt. But this is like a different type of heart that this type, of, this is a different type of hurt that your heart just can't. It's like you, you reopening wounds, opening scars, opening sores, like you just keep reopening them up. So it's like it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to love it, it is very i think it is hard it's hard to love i look like i done been through it y'all y'all should have seen me standing up i don't lost a little weight not not too much because i don't want to lose too much weight but i'm not saying that this is the best type of way to lose weight to be stressed out some people do they stress differently some people eat i don't even have an appetite my appetite is out the window i don't want to eat Dana don't want to drink no water. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, was it love? Do love make you don't want to eat, sleep, and all that? What? Welcome back to... Oh, I can't even talk, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. At the beginning of the video, I showed y'all a little clip that happened like... Some days, not days ago, it happened before I really got real sick. Um, when I took duty to the vet, and I wanted to show y'all that, so that was the beginning of that video. I didn't put that video out because I said other stuff that I know that I just should have like just let go, and I didn't want to put that on um, for y'all to see that. Cause duty is my baby, and times is at this point it's Christmas time. A lot of stuffs going on. Christmas ain't the same no more to me. I guess because I'm an adult now and life is lifing. So. It's just a lot of stuff that's been going on. But I wanted to check in with y'all. I miss y'all. Like, thank y'all for still being subscribed to my channel. And since I ain't been posting no videos, y'all, I only got 40 new subscribers. Do I, I don't, I don't, y'all don't want me to post and I get subscribers or what? Like, let me know what's going on with that. I'm so confused. Y'all, y'all something else though. But today I'm just getting ready. Um... I'm going to change my intro soon because it's going to be a new year. And this is what I got on today. This is a haul that me and Shay Baby did together uh, with some um, Fenty, the lingerie. But this was a workout outfit. And I told y'all I wasn't working out. So I put it on as some leggings today because that's what I said I was going to wear. Y'all see that? And I got this black shirt on with my blue boots. I got a tie up because that's a camel. I don't even know why. With these navy blue boots. I love boots. And it is time to wear them. Y'all can still hear I'm kind of sick. Y'all can hear it in my voice. So, I'm out of breath a little bit. I didn't have COVID. I just had like probably like the flu or just a cold. It was bad. Like, when I say I didn't, I didn't even go to work. And y'all know I love to work. Whether I'm sick, down and out, I just keep going. I always post videos. But who wants to see me sick? Maybe y'all do want to see that. I don't know. But I just couldn't pick up my phone even to call my friends. Or text my friends to let them know like how I was doing. Like I just wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And then I was going through other issues. <laughs> I'm always going through something. You know what I'm saying? Always, always. But this is what I'm wearing today. Enough said all that, but this one I'm wearing today, and y'all know I don't like bonnets and people wearing bonnets on their head when they do videos. So I'm about to take this off my hair because I know y'all want to see y'all. Y'all want to see? Nah, I don't have my curls, y'all. So I wrap my hair so y'all can see how it looks. I did it yesterday. Um, I got me some flat irons. Cause in that video, y'all see I had my hair crazy. I was telling y'all I was sick. I've been sick. Like I can't even explain it. But I've been taking Mucinex. First, I was taking Third Flu. No Tylenol. Tylenol, cold and flu. 
and then meet us the next. So, to get me a little bit better, and I've been feeling much better because tomorrow I gotta go back to work. Like, I can't be not working. It don't have no type of bounce to it or nothing. It's just straight. But hey, with the weather it is raining outside, I'm lucky if it stays straight while I just go outside. Because my hair is funny acting. Just like people. <laughs> so, we gonna see ya. I'm about to put the, the hot ones on there one more time on it. It's absolutely straight. Dang, okay. And I did some new stuff. I put some new stuff in my hair. It got tangled right there. That hurt it. I'm tender headed. Um, this is what I put out a silk blowout. It's probably not for my texture of hair at all, but I used it, and I guess that's how I got it so straight. I don't really know how it got so straight, but it's straight though. I need to cut my ends off. I told. I asked my mama. She told me to braid my hair and cut my own ends off. I'm not doing that and cut my own hair. No, I'm scared. So I'm about to go in here and redo my face. I'll be back with y'all when I get in the car, y'all. Are y'all ready? Mm -hmm, this is all I did. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta do my eyebrows, you know, like shave under that part. I don't know where I did with my thing. I gotta, I gotta go to the store and get some. But this is all I did. Just like curled up the little ends. I ain't do much. Y'all know me. I'm simple. Uh, I'm about to put some in this 360 Perry Ellis um, spray. It smells so good. I got this out of Ross, I think, like weeks ago. It smells so good. Um, and I'm about to put my fleece on. And I'm about to go ahead and... And I got this from, what, Ross for $8.99. I'm cheap. Y'all should know. I'm a what? Clearance, baby. This is a men. I think this is. A, I think this was in a men's section too. Maybe it was in the wrong section. I don't think it's women. Or maybe so. I don't think so because I can't fit no extra large in a woman. Maybe I can. And this is how my little fit look, y'all. Cozy. I look cozy. Turn off this heater. Turn off the heater. I'm gonna curl it in one more time. Yeah, I just curled it up just a little bit more. And I'm gonna step on that out. Turn that off. And I changed my bathroom, y'all. I got me a, a, a tiger up there, a white one. No one, I love lioness. But, you know, the line is they didn't have the, oh, the, the, the way the bright light is on my face. Let's talk about that. No. Let me get my purse. I had to switch purses out, y'all. Like, I just, I, when I say I got to get caught up with stuff, I don't know what I'm doing. I really got to get caught up with stuff. It's no game. I have to get caught up with stuff. I got to put my plate on my car, too. Because my plate in the back of the car, which I'm going to reach out to my little brother. The t I went to the car wash to wash my car. Tell me why the whole plate came off. Luckily, there's paper plates on there. Because I've been, like, taking advantage of the paper plates, y'all. The DMV gave me a paper plate, and I've been put, put that one on there. And today's the last day for that. So, I've been having paper plates about two months. <laughs> okay, I'll be back with y'all in a second. Y'all see them lips? Mm, okay, now. Okay, y'all. I'm sitting in the car. I had to put this thing on my head because, like I said, it's kind of sprinkling outside. And I don't want my hair to mess up. But I'll take it off. But I'm about to get ready to drive. Y'all need to see all that. Mm -mm. I'll be back with y'all soon. <laughs> I ended the video. I'm laying down, y'all. This is the next day. I want to end the video saying thank you to everybody who reached out to me. Thank you for the people I talked to. I'm not going to even say everybody's name. Y'all know who y'all are. I appreciate y'all so much for just being in my corner. 
the experience I have been going through because I have been going through a lot. Not seeing other people ain't going through stuff too because they are. Like everybody's going through something in their life. And the only thing I could do is like tell you to find somebody to talk to. Um, you can't talk to everybody about your issues and your problems because everybody can't handle what you're going through. Like they might have been through something like like you done been through and you might open up something trauma to them what they done been through. So it's like a trigger. So you might not want to tell everybody what you're going through. Um, you must definitely find somebody that's that's not just mental, that's judging you on your decisions or, or whatever you do. Like you it's really hard. It's like a mental it's it's really a mental thing. That's why people go to like a counselor. Like now I see why people go to counselors and stuff like that. Cause they they're not gonna have their feelings on their shoulder because y'all don't have a relationship like a friendship or a family member or something like that. They just there and they hear everybody problems and they just there to listen and suggest things to you, I guess. Like I never went to a counselor, so I really don't know how that is. But I just want to say that said all of that to be said, like know your worth, like I have been going through a lot lately and I had to like read, rethink like to myself, like why am I going through what I'm going through? I know my worth, you know what I'm saying? I have confidence in myself for sure, but somebody can throw you out of, off your game. They can throw you off your game and you make you start second guessing yourself. Like it happens, but just know your worth and know there's somebody out there for everybody. It is. It's somebody out there for everybody. It just, it might not be the one that you really want to be with at that time or something like that. And relationships do take you through the ropes. Like, it takes you through depressed most happy times and bad times. And every relationship has bad times because you didn't have bad times in your relationship. Why are you in one? You know what I'm saying? You're going to have them hurdles. You're going to go through that stuff. But just know your worth. Like, pray about it. Pray. Find people to talk to that you can trust. Not everybody is your friend. Not everybody want to see you great. Not everybody want to do none of that, okay? Like I say, I really am so happy of, like, the people I have in my life. And they know who they are. You know what I'm saying? And it's rough. It is rough when you by yourself. Like, and I know it's some things that I need to work on for myself. In order to have a healthy relationship, when I do find somebody I want to settle down with and I actually want to be with one day, it's things I got to work on for myself. It might be things like I say to, to a man that messes up his pride or maybe I'm not submissive to him or may. It's a lot of stuff like when I say I've been learning stuff. And trying to learn, like, learn myself over again, it is hard, y'all. It is the hardest thing ever to do. Because it's not just, it's just not, it's not the person who you looking for. It could be you that's got the issues. But don't blame yourself, though. Like, it's just something that triggers off. It could be something that that person do that I don't even know they did. And it triggers off like it's trauma. It could be something that I say that that person done had in their life and they get, like, put down a lot. And I might have said something that triggered it off. And I didn't realize, like, but that's why it comes with a communication. It's everything. You need to most definitely communicate to whoever you decide to be friends with and learn that person. Learn yourself and learn that person. And I guess y'all see me again. Y'all see me again soon. So y'all take care. And I want to say I love to I love all of my key babies and key poppies. I love my family. I love my friends. Like for giving me the advice, like I said. Like check it on me. All that. I'm in somebody's thoughts. I am. 
So until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, hey, I'll see y'all next time.